What's up guys, UK Urban Preppy here with a news update. The channel's not all going to be news updates, but this directly affects us how we're prepping, uh, how I'm prepping, so I thought I would do a little one here for you. So, with uh, many nations now calling for a ceasefire, the airstrikes are continuing over Gaza. The Israeli Defence Minister Gallant vowed to press on with military offensive, saying troops are in the heart of Gaza City. So, despite all the calls for a ceasefire, he's still hard pressing on this now. And it's just, it's just, there's no stopping them now. It doesn't look like they're going to stop at all until there's nothing left. So, I'm not on either side here. I just don't want to see innocent people killed. This is what we're seeing everywhere, which is horrible. So this is sparking tensions all over the world and what seems to be the start of a new arms race. And obviously flashbacks for some people to the Cold War. So negotiated during the final years of the Cold War, the Conventional Armed Forces in Europe Treaty is often referred to as the cornerstone of European security. The treaty signed on November 19, 1990 eliminated Soviet Union's overwhelming quantitative advantage in conventional weapons in Europe by setting equal limits to the number of tanks, armoured combat vehicles, heavy artillery, combat aircraft and attack helicopters that NATO and the Warsaw Pact could deploy between the Atlantic Ocean and the Ural Mountains. So that's basically what the treaty was um, which has kept it relatively peacetime up until now earlier today russia finalized its withdrawal from the treaty and now the u.s and its nato allies served notice tuesday that they will formally suspend their participation in the 1990 treaty limiting the weapons as we've just discussed so this is a massive thing guys this is like scary um, a few places a few people I've watched videos I've watched on here have said that the USA have also announced that they've got a new nuclear bomb which is 24 times the size of the one dropped on Hiroshima which isn't actually true um, so the Department of Defense um, has announced its pursuit of a nuclear bomb that will be 24 times more powerful than the ones dropped on Japan um, and pro the Pentagon is seeking congressional approval and funding to pursue a modern variant of the B-61 nuclear gravity bomb. So they've not got it, but they want to pursue it. So this is why they've also pulled out of this treaty. The Russian president said in a speech on Thursday, the annual Valde Discussion Club in the Black Sea Resort uh, that Russia had almost completed work on its nuclear-capable Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile, not a biscuit missile, a ballistic missile, which is capable of carrying at least 10 nuclear warheads on each missile. And he quoted, in the event of an attack on Russia, no one has any chance of survival. Um... And he's not so if, not he's not sure if we would need to carry out nuclear tests or not. So yeah, what do we think, guys? Is this the start of World War Three? Because I don't know about you, I'm trying to read this relatively calm, and I'm trying to take everything with a little pinch of salt. And the UK seems to be just going about its business. Not much is changing, you know. So. But our news over here is very filtered. Regardless of that, what we're seeing is obviously the horrors of the war. And it's all bad, but none of the threat of what's going on in the background. So do we think this is the start of World War Three? Is this the catalyst that starts it? I know one thing is I've now prepped a much larger bug out set of equipment to go into the car. Ready to get into a more remote location if needs be. So it has changed because my primary preps was for blackouts. So it has changed my prepping quite a lot. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what your take on the situation is and what you're doing to prepare. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.